you this is Lois welcome back to my channel it's my hope and trust that you're doing well wherever you are if you're new to my channel welcome if you haven't subscribed please subscribe okay uh, I am a regulated Canadian immigration consultant and I am based in Calgary Alberta Canada if you need any help with immigrating to Canada if you have questions you need legal answers you want to maneuver this this process of immigrating to Canada uh, please reach out to me by email and book a consultation. My email address is going to be at the description part of this video. Okay, all right. Today, I have updates, very important updates because they involve money. Okay, so effective April 30th, 9 a.m. Uh, Eastern Day Time, IRCC actually did increase the permanent residence fees for Canada, okay? And I say that knowing the right fees to pay for any immigration program is going to save you time and anguish. And if you know, one of the main reasons that applications, immigration applications are returned to the applicants is because of failure to pay fees or failure to pay the right amount of fees and that is bad and actually that becomes a bigger problem than we may think it's not just a simple problem you know what oh yeah i forgot to pay or i didn't pay the right about the right amount of money it's a bigger problem and this is why it's a bigger problem in immigration we say that deadlines are deadly okay and what we mean is an application is not going to be deemed complete and received by RCC until all the fees are paid fully. Okay? And it's deadly like this because it can end up costing you a lot of money and a lot of time. If you're applying for yourself, it'll cost you time. Okay? It'll cost you time and it may even cost you an opportunity because of a returned application. For me, if you have retained my services and I miss a deadline because an application was returned, because we did not pay the right amount of money in, in time, then we miss those deadlines. That may even end up costing my career. So that's how we say that deadlines can be deadly for us and for you so we always ensure that our clients know the amount of money that is needed to be paid at what time or even you if you want to apply for yourself that is why i just want to emphasize on the importance of paying the right amount of time and meeting deadlines okay all right so ircc has said that they have not increased PR fees since 2002. And what uh, has happened over that time is that PR fees have been subsidized by the Canadian taxpayer, okay? Therefore, over the years, they have seen increased program and service delivery costs and now to offset this cost, they have uh, increased uh, PR fees for most economic immigration programs except caregivers. So all the other economic programs are affected by the caregiver program for the applicants and for their families. They are not going to be affected by this increase. Okay, that is just so you know. And which are these programs? And which are these fees that went up? So we're just going to go through that quickly because I don't want to make this video long. Um, so if you're the principal applicant in the economic business class and economic business classes in Canada, they are the self-employed classes, the startup visa classes, the Quebec investor programs, uh, Quebec entrepreneur programs, Quebec self-employed programs for those programs as the principal applicant in the past, you paid 1050. Uh, effective April 3rd, April 30th, right? Effective April 30th, 2020, 9 a.m., the new fees is 1575, okay? 
uh, the principal ap applicant now this is the other person who is affected as a principal applicant in the economic classes except caregivers economic classes we have talked about these economic classes they are the canadian experience class the federal skilled worker the federal skilled trades for those classes as the principal applicant you paid 550 in the past uh, effective april 30th 2020 9 a.m eastern daytime you will be paying age 25 okay right spouses and common law partners in all these economic classes they were paying 550 they will now be paying 825 just like that the principal applicants as you can see dependent children in all these economic classes they paid 150 and now they will be paying 225 um then there's the right of pr fee because that was the application fee 550 was the application fee and then of course you know that he had to pay the right of landing that is the right of pr fee and children don't pay this fee okay so the right of pr fee was 490 and now that fee is going to be 500 so that didn't increase uh with a lot actually just increased with ten dollars but as you can see, it's still an increase that you need to take note of. So an example, uh, a principal applicant, assume you are the principal applicant and you're applying for you and your spouse and, and uh, your child. You need to do the math from what you would pay in the past and what now you need to pay currently. Just make sure that you get, do the math and get the right fee. If you're applying uh, as one person, assuming you just wanted to apply as one person in the past you would pay 1040 that was a uh, 550 plus 490 it was 1040 and now you will pay 1325 okay all right just be careful because uh effective the effective date is the most important if you applied before that if you applied before april 30th 9 a.m eastern daytime and your application was received before that time okay uh, then you paid as per the old fee schedule but if you paid on or after april 30th 2029 a.m eastern day time then you should uh, use the new fee structure the new fee structure applies to you otherwise if you still pay with the old fee structure that application is going to be returned to you as incomplete remember what we talked about incomplete applications you will have to pay and do that application again and it's going to cost you a lot of money uh, not just money of course it's going to cost you the money increase but it's going to cost you time and it may cost you the opportunity that is what you do not want happening to you um, PR cards, other, you know, travel documents, those ones have not been um, affected by the new increase, okay? This is just for the permanent residence applications in the economic classes. Remember, caregivers and their families are not affected in this. What IRCC has said is that it's going to review, it's going to review these fees again in two years so in 2022 they are going to review this uh these fees because of infl inflation okay so there will be a new fee structure coming up in 2022 right okay that is the new update that i wanted to tell you it's not the best update but come on you need to know it because it's going to affect you if you're going to apply to come to canada anytime now so just make sure that you know the right amount of money that you need to pay and when you need to pay it good news now that is bad news i'm done with that good news guess what the rural northern immigration program uh the pilot program is still running and there is a new community that has started taking applications and i have made that video for you 
tomorrow stay tuned if you haven't subscribed see why you should subscribe if you haven't subscribed please subscribe because tomorrow i'll be releasing the new community that is now taking applications for the rural northern immigration payload just so that you know if you qualify and how to apply and when to apply and what is required okay all right thank you so much for keeping it here uh again if you haven't subscribed subscribe thank you stay safe See you next time.